Alright guys, so before I begin guys, I have a quick announcement for you all. And so I'm really excited to announce that the part 4 of the Gohan story is coming on October 12th at 1pm Eastern Time. I'm really excited for you guys, I hope you guys are as well. Thank you all so much for showing so much support on that story. I really appreciate every single one of you guys, so thank you all so much for all the love and support. Anyways guys, October 12th, 1pm Eastern Time. Anyways guys, let's get started with today's video. So as we all have seen in Dragon Ball Super Monkey Shooter number 64, Goku, Master Ultron Instinct completely dominated Moro, and Moro had no idea what was happening. Goku was just way too much for Moro. He had precision and not just that, deadly power as well, and Moro felt it. And Moro was in immense amounts of pain, and the whole earth and everybody on earth, they felt it as well. And the intensity behind Goku's punch was so massive that, even someone such as Whis and Beerus, they moved away their face and closed their eyes as well. That's how intense that punch was. It created a ripple throughout the entire earth. It was truly immense. At the end, Moro was begging Goku to spare his life and not to end his life. So guys, with that, this battle is going really well for Goku. Goku is absolutely destroying Moro and Moro has nothing to offer to Goku. It is going so well for Goku that it is going just too well for Goku. And what I mean by that is guys, it is going a bit too good for Goku. And that means that Goku is gonna fall soon. That something really bad is about to happen towards Goku. And Moro once again will have the upper hand on just everything. See even though Goku is destroying and dominating Moro completely, but do not let it distract you from the fact that Moro is still a mastermind genius. He will get what he wants to when he wants to, in some way and somehow. See, when Goku and Vegeta were training, Moro knew that Goku and Vegeta would come back much much stronger. And he knew that Vegeta would obviously come back stronger but with a surprise to handle Moro's magic and some other things. Moro deep down knew that Vegeta was not the forgiving type. Vegeta will take him out if he gets the chance to. And Moro did not want to take any second chances. So he made a plan B in case that actually took place. And it did. Vegeta came back much stronger and with a surprise. And that was stealing back all the energy that Moro forcefully took from all those that he taken the life of. And Vegeta was winning right up until Moro absorbed 7-3. And Vegeta was left behind by Moro. 7-3 was Moro's backup plan all this time. And Moro used him perfectly. Perfectly to a point where he took out Vegeta very easily. And the other thing was, Moro perfectly planned the escape of all those prisoners from the Galactic Patrol prison with the Dragon Balls. And it worked out just perfectly for him. And that was that Moro knew that he could not be at all places at the same time, so he used them to send them to different places. And if they didn't come back, that means that that planet that they went to had life energy, massive life energy. For example, Earth. When they went to Earth, they got caught by Piccolo and the others. So Moro knew that Earth had a lot of life energy. So basically Moro used them as a perfect data collection tool. And guys, not just that, they also fought some of Moro's battles as well. And the other thing is, Moro obviously is very old. Millions and millions of years old. So he knows a lot of things. He even knows some of the secrets of the gods as well. For the first time in the battlefield, when Goku returned from training with Miros, when he tapped into Ultra Instinct against the Ganbo, Moro knew what that was. He knew that it was not an ability of the mortals, but it was a technique of the gods. So Moro knows a lot of things. So guys, with all this, Moro obviously is a really good fighter. He knows his way. He also is a mastermind as well. See guys, no big arc or no big battle in the history of Dragon Ball ended the way how it looked like it was gonna end. Meaning guys, the opposite happened of what we actually saw that was happening. And right now I'm gonna give you guys a lot of examples. So start off with, we have the Android and the Cell Saga. At first it looked like the Androids were the big bad of the arc, but then there was Cell. And Cell was a much bigger threat than everything they've ever faced up until that point. But then guys, Gohan turned into a Super Saiyan 2. And the way the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was dominating Cell, it looked like it was over for Cell. And that was it. But then guys, Cell was just one step ahead. And the battle, did not end right there. Cell came back and the battle ended in a different way than how it looked like it was going to end. It was much different. And lastly for Dragon Ball Z we have the Majin Buu Saga. And when the Vegeta fusion first happened, we thought that Vegeta would easily be able to end Majin Buu. And that would be it for Majin Buu. 
and Vegeta's plan of being absorbed it worked perfectly. But then guys something else happened and that was Kid Buu. And so with the reveal of Kid Buu the battle ended in a much much different way. And now in Dragon Ball Super when Frieza first came back. After Goku was completely fooled by Frieza, Vegeta stepped in. And it looked like that Vegeta was going to end Frieza. But then it wasn't. Frieza destroyed Earth and Goku was the one that took out Frieza after Whis reversed time. The ending was much different than how it seemed like. And guys right now after that we have the Goku Black and Zamasu arc. Towards the very end when the Vegeta fusion happened it looked like the Vegeta was going to end Zamasu. But then it really wasn't. Then it was Trunks and it looked like that Trunks was ending Zamasu. But then once again he wasn't. There was something else. Zamasu was just one step ahead. So the Omni King had to step in and take care of everything. He erased the whole timeline. That in a way we did not expect that much to happen. And lastly for Dragon Ball Super we have the Trunks of Power. At the very end it looked like Master Ultra Ace and Goku would just be too much for Jiren. And he definitely was. But at the final moment when Goku was about to launch the final attack on Jiren to take him out, his Ultra Instinct fell apart. And with that the Trunks of Power ended in a much much different way. And guys right now once again we have the happening as well. And if history has told us one thing about Dragon Ball, things do not go the way that it looks like. It will go much different than it seems. So something bad is about to happen in the Moro arc because it is going too well for Goku. And there is a high chance that it's not gonna end like how it's looking like. And so guys with that, these are highly possible. Number one, Goku's Ultra Instinct, it runs out, just like in the Tremor of Power. Number two, somehow, some way, Moro is able to fool everyone, including Master Ultra Ace and Goku, and just be one step ahead once again. So, guys, let's just say that Goku's Master Ultra Instinct does somehow fall apart. And with that, and the only other person right now that would have a chance against Moro, that will be Vegeta. Because Vegeta is still very dangerous. And don't forget that Dende also healed Vegeta as well. Right now Vegeta is back to normal. And Goku right now heavily weakened Moro. So right now Moro doesn't really have the scary power that he had before. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys noticed this and that is, Moro was really interested in a certain ability and that was Dende. Dende's healing abilities. Moro either wants it or he wants to destroy it. Either one of those. And let's say somehow, some way, Moro does take the life of Dende. And so with that, what if Goku is in trouble and he needs healing? What if the others need healing? Now guys, it is very highly possible that Vegeta could jump in and save everyone. That is with his healing abilities that he could have possibly learned on planet Yadrid. Because the Yadridians also possess a high level of healing ability. And he saw it on planet Yadrid and he kind of wanted it as well. But then they told him it was just to advance for him at that time. Now just what if Vegeta did indeed learn it? And right now if something happens to Goku, Vegeta will jump in and heal Goku, thus saving him. And guys lastly, things will not end the way that it is looking like. It will be much different than it seems like. Anyways guys, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, be subscribed for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day my friends.